All right, guys. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me and see my screen? Yes. Good. 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 Uh, if at any time the screen is frozen or um, my audio is bad, please let me know. We do have some. I do have. I did have some issues earlier today with this, but. Uh, should be okay for this webinar. Um, hope everyone's doing okay. <clears throat> We're basically um, going to be discussing about uh, uh, the little challenge that we have going for the support and resistance right now. Um, if th those of you who have not seen the challenge properly, it's basically uh, it's <clears throat> it's a cash challenge basically, and. Um, for any of you guys who open your accounts with FX Pro using this link right here, I can uh, paste it in the conference room as well. Um, uh, <coughs> all accounts must be live. They must be set to the leverage of 50 to 1. Okay, you guys need to let us know that the accounts are active and trading. I think uh, you can open your account with uh, the minimum balance that they allow. That's fine. Um, and we're looking for the largest percentage of gain okay now remember the objective is to trade using support and resistance in this one and uh, to look for, and we're looking for the largest percentage gain now we're not looking for you to blow up your account you know th this is the reason why we're, we're forcing you to set your leverage to 50 to 1 but we're trying to make you guys understand how you guys can push using support and resistance now We've already done this. Um, uh, Michelle, no. US uh, clients apparently currently cannot trade with FX Pro accounts. If you are a US client, you can simply drop us an email and we'll, we, we'll, we will make exceptions for US clients. So, um, so you guys can choose your own broker if you're in the US and you can still enter the competition. That's not a problem. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Uh, Atsushi, yes, we did get your email. Okay, so going back to the concept is um, the first place winner will get uh, 300, second place 150, and third place 50 US. And uh, I'm going to be entering this competition myself. It starts next week and it will last uh, from 5th of February till 12th of February is when the competition will end. Okay, and we'll announce the winners on the following week. So we, we just need to know who's uh, participating in the competition and uh, how many people. Um, I tried to subscribe to your internship, but it's, uh, we can discuss the internship stuff later. Uh, Pedro, the minimum, I think, is uh, 500 or 1,000, something like that. You, you can check on their website. Um, I think I had that right here yeah a thousand dollars for the mt4 account or a thousand dollars for the ecn account which is a c trader platform which is a quite really nice platform that they have um for getting the very optimal spreads okay so yes this link that we have given you it is our ib link uh and yes if you do open your account with them we do earn a referral commission um on uh, the trading activity so objective is obviously not for you to blow up your account that's not our goal that's not what we do here at uh, urban forex um, the objective is to learn and practice okay many of you guys have been doing demos and demos and demos and demos it's time to step out of it it's time to actually take some action practice okay so we we release support and resistance. Um, will you share with us your trades? Yes, of course, of course. Now we released uh, support and resistance on our previous webinar. How many of you guys who are here actually um, were in the last webinar on last Wednesday for support and resistance? Okay, those of you who who were not here. Um, here is the group for that it has all the information about it is available here what's it on YouTube okay
Uh, Pedro, um, I, we're gonna be releasing the information at the end of uh, at, at the end of the week because just like um, this competition is is uh, uh, of course it's more interesting if we release this information every day. However, we're we're trying to pull the focus away from uh, a typical school or university um, basis where everything is result based, like it's based on your score. No, we don't want that score. What we want you to do is, can you exceed? You know, and uh, I'm also, if, if you guys are even not participating with a live account, join in with a demo account. Um, you know, obviously you cannot qualify for the cash prizes, but join in. See where you stand in the competition, you know. So, um, also join in with that. Let us know if you're doing a demo account. You can send us an email for that as well, and so we can see um, which account you're using. We need uh, the investor passwords, obviously, for your account, your server, and investor password. We need that. Which broker you're using? Okay. So, next thing. Now, we're gonna discuss. We're gonna recap a little bit on support and resistance, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, let me just go ahead and close these trades. Here, I'll just uh, open a new account. Okay. All right, now. Now, what? How, how many of you guys understand support and resistance now? Uh, Pedro, to avoid opening a new account, I will use my ECN on product compare the results. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, Pedro says, I have some doubts. Mayur says, only basic. Okay, it's been a week since we did support resistance last. How many of you guys have actually practiced it and uh, learned, um, you know, uh, whatever we've taught? Okay, I did see some amazing results. Um, in Urban Forex on the homepage that all of you guys have been drawing your support resistance lines and uh, and you know getting fantastic results from it. Okay and okay, so we're gonna we're gonna practice a little bit more today. We're gonna go over it a little bit more. All right, now support and resistance. Support and resistance. Is basically a wall okay we've all understood that that support resistance is nothing but a wall now one of the main things to do is stop looking for any level of support and resistance okay what you want to do is find a support of resistance above or below the current market okay now if I tell you that there is a support resistance here does it make a difference to me Okay, no, it's not going to make a difference because even though it's a super powerful support resistance area, the market's all the way up here. It's no use for me to even look down here. Okay, we want, what we wanted to do is we want to look for the nearby areas above or below the current market if you want to approach a trade. Okay, now let's. Uh, Take an example of uh, pound right now. Now pound, let's take a look. If I draw this line on pound, we have this area here. We cover this body, and then we cover these tails. We have support resistance here. Do we have a good candle break? We have this line that goes as support and it has resistance. Okay, you can see that here. But do we have a big candle break? which will determine if this is a powerful area. We need that we need that piece of information. Not only do we need just support and resistance, but we also need a big candle break. So, I'm going to search for my big candle break to see do I see it anywhere? Um, wait, let me scroll faster. Okay, I'm all the way in September. Nothing. So, we go back to the current market and say that okay 
all I have is a level of support and resistance. We don't have anything else. So I'm going to take my little range also, which is uh, probably from here. Yeah, from here. I'm going to take some tails in. Okay. We have this area here. Okay. We have this little zone right here of support resistance. Now, at the current moment, the market was hovering around this area. It shot up, bounced from here, dropped dramatically. Came back north and now it officially broke through. Now it broke through, it is retracing from this zone. Do we have a potential buy area here? <clears throat> if, if I were to put a gun onto your head and say you have to make a trade right now, which direction would you take? Okay, long, why? There you go. We've closed outside of this wall, plus the current candle that's coming down is a retracement. Remember, the, the zone that you're trading from is the most ideal spot to take a trade. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy right here. Okay, I don't even want to think twice. This looks like a buy to me, I buy. What happens if it doesn't go into buy? Let me explain to you. The market's going long, right? The market is currently above this area. Okay, it's above the wall. The next candle opened above the wall. Now that means if this area is strong and the market wants to close below it, how what does it need to do? Uh, mirror, I'll, I'll repeat that uh, on the next example. Okay, come, very good. You need a big candle. Okay, it's the same thing. It took a big candle to break above this area. It's going to have to do the same thing to go below this area. Okay, so assuming it does go long, step number one, we're in profit. No issues there. But assuming it does take a big candle and it goes short, just like uh, this candle broke, okay, it shot outside, it retraced from the zone, and now it's going to continue north. Same thing will happen if it breaks through the south. It will have to retrace to this blue zone and then continue south, which gives you enough time to close your trade again and open the next one in a different direction, making you lose only a couple of pips, if not break even. Because this is where the action happens. Is everyone, does that, does that make sense to everybody? Is everyone with me? Okay. So I'm currently long. If it goes long, it's a rosy trade. It's beautiful. We're, we're making some pips. If it turns around, it breaks down to the south. I don't touch anything. I wait. It has to retrace. Once it retraces, this is the ideal spot to retrace to because this is a hot area. Once it retraces to here somewhere, I close out my trade, possibly three pips, five pips, whatever, whatever a small amount it is, and then I take a short. And then the short continues from there because obviously I am short after, after that moment. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at uh, uh, at CAD today. It's a, something similar we did uh, earlier in our Forex Watchers conference room today for CAD. We had this line that we drew of support resistance. Okay, you can see here there is support, there is resistance, and then a big candle break here. Okay, we're gonna scroll back, take a look at this area. Well, support, resistance, big candle break. Is this a strong area? Okay, yes, it's a strong area. Here's what happened today. Okay, um, Mayur, the reason why it's strong is because you need support, 
resistance from the same area plus you need a big candle break that's when you want an area is strong you have big candles because it's a powerful area you cannot break through it easily okay so every time this area was crossed it has to be with a big candle okay now here's what happened around here around this area on this yellow line I took a short thinking that the market's bouncing off this area it's gonna go short okay the trade ended up being wrong no problem the next candle opened up it shot north okay once it shot north I waited until it came back down to retrace to the yellow line where I took my trade that trade uh, made me close for, I don't know, very nominal loss, maybe half a pip of loss or one pip. And then I went for a long, which is why you saw all that profit on my screen. And then I went long from here, and then the long is continuing from now. So the objective is the pips will come regardless, as long as you just follow the market. It doesn't, no, no need to panic, just go wherever the market's going, it's not a big deal. Only issue is, can you draw this line? That's where the practice needs to come in. That's it. Okay. So what we're going to do today for the uh, rest of the webinar session is practice and practice and practice. Okay. Because once you get these lines right, these zones correct, then everything is just trivial according to that. Any strategy, any method, anything you do related to Forex is going to come back down to this basics. Okay. This must be perfected if you want to make it. Okay, and I can't emphasize this enough. I, if you look at any of my webinars, I never say this about anything. This actually needs to be perfected. Okay, so moving on. No, no, it's not very tough actually. It's it's quite easy. Okay, <coughs> let's 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 continue. Okay, now. This is the current market right here, right? Um, right here. This is the current market. Okay. There goes my pound. I'm not even looking at it. I don't even care. You know, we're up three pips. Okay. Now, this is my current market of US dollar Swiss franc. Right? Now, in US dollar Swiss franc, we have one piece of information that just came through. And the piece of information is, we just broke through something strong. This does not mean there's a news out there. Uh, I, actually, yes, it does probably mean there's some news out there. But to us, no concern. I don't care what the news is telling us. All I know is something big has been broken. What is this area? So let's put our lines in here somewhere and uh, test. We put our lines in here, right? This makes sense. We use this area. We just draw some random lines and we test from the previous market and see what is this area. Okay. Um, let's go further back. Let me clean this up for you guys so you guys can see it clean. Okay. Something's either broken from here to here. Something's been broken. And right, we're going to check. What makes sense? compared to our closest part of our market. Let's, sorry, let me scroll back properly. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's refine our bottom line. Our bottom line, we can pull it up a little bit and we can put it right here. Why over here? Because it has resistance here. Okay, let me remove this top line. Okay, because it has resistance here, plus a big candle broke through it, Okay, we scroll further back. Let's see what else do we have here. We have tails coming out of this area. Tail up, tail down. Let's go further back, see if there's anything else. Okay, we have a little point we missed here. Okay, so we're going to refine it a little bit. Uh, do you only trade breakouts? No, I trade a bunch of things. Uh, this is just one little technique. Take a look at this area. Pinpoint. Okay, pinpoint area here. Okay, so we have our current area line right here. Now, how can we make this into a zone? We have one line only, 
and one line is not enough to work with. Okay, we need to make a zone. Okay, so let's cover anything, everything around this area. What information is around this line? Okay, first we can cover the tails. Okay, if I, if I cover this tail, let's scroll back and see, do I have more information about this top line? Okay, well, what do you know? We are missing it by a few pips here. Okay, let's continue further back to check. Okay, the top line now conquers this completely. Resistance, big candle break, support, big candle break, big candle break. No disrespect so whatsoever to this top line. Okay. Bottom line holds, top line holds. Okay, we now have a zone that we're working with. Is everyone with me so far? Okay, we've drawn this little zone right now. That uh, from here to here, this 18 pip movement area here, we had some crazy nonsense happening. Okay, so we have our little range. Now, we recently broke through this. We're going long. Now, the possibility of this going till here is more than 50%. So, you can sell actually right now, but it's not worth it. The best place to take your sell is in this area. Once it retraces to here, because why? Because once it gets here, there's only two things that can happen. One, it either goes down, or two, it blows north through it. And if it blows north, it comes back down for its retest before it goes. Which gives you still uh, a chance to wait and pick it up. Okay? Now, you have to use this together with correlation also. What if it keeps going up without retracing? You will see that on some pairs, but not all pairs. That's why you have to do this in conjunction with correlation. Now, for example, now if it like for example, it shoots north and then it continues going north after that, it never retraces to here, or it retraces only a little bit and then it continues north. How do you know where it's going to continue north from? That's what you need to keep an eye out. Uh, don't worry about the correlation. We'll, we, we will have a webinar on that also. But uh, as of right now, let's discuss this completely. We're drawing these lines. This is the most important part, drawing these lines. Stop worrying about pips. Okay, It will come. Just relax. Just focus on drawing these lines. This is what needs to be perfected. Pips come by itself. Okay. Now, moving on. Moving on. Now let's take a look at uh, uh, <coughs> Aussie dollar right now. Okay, let me clean this up. Uh, sorry, my voice is a little off today because my nose is closed, or I'm sick a little bit. But anyways, um, Aussie dollar has currently dropped. Okay, now that it's currently dropped. What, what are we doing around this area? Do we have anything above or below this area that we need to see? Let's take a look. Support, resistance, big candle break. Okay, support, resistance, big candle break. Big candle break. Current market touching. Is this an area? Well, we don't know. Let's take a look. How, many, how much more information do we have? Okay. We have these areas plus big candle break, big candle break. Let's check further. Do we have more information that comes from this area? Let's see. Okay, big candle break, big candle break, and voila. Another piece that respects this area. What is this area that we're working with? Okay, big gap that goes through this, not that important. Okay, and then we have some ups and downs here. That means on 21st December, we might need to refine a little bit. So, let's start drawing our ranges. Where can we draw a range? Let's pull this down a little bit to cover this body. 
Okay, and let's pull another line up here to cover this tail. Okay, or slightly higher to cover this tail also. So we have all of this covered in. This tail is covered. Some stuff in here is covered. Let's go further back and see if these lines make a little sense. And then we can adjust them accordingly up and down a little bit. Okay, so now we've the top line makes a little bit sense. It's touching more areas now, but it's still being broken by big candles in one shot. Okay, let's go further back. Let's check. And we come here again to see this little mess on 21st of December. Okay, we're going to hold that. We're going to go further back, see if there's anything else. We've reached all the way to um, early December to early November, where this area didn't have power. Look how messy it is. Okay, quite messy right here, right? However, we still do have reaction of big candles breaking through this area, big candles breaking through this area. So we, we still have some level of information here. So what we're going to do now is, since we're not 100% sure, we're going to monitor this area. And we're going to be like, what is going on here? Let's take a look. Okay? We're going to understand what is going on over here. We're going to keep an eye on this. Okay? All right. Um, it will retrace our selling pressure from institutions in the middle of a big five seat on the five minute time frame. I don't open five minute time frames at all. Um, Kilimanjaro, no problem. In fact, uh, I had the zone from three days ago. That's why I did not clean my zones. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can you briefly discuss what constitutes as a big candle? A big candle break is something that is bigger than average. Okay, that breaks through your zones. Now, uh, let's go back to Euro USD. Look at the size of these candles. Okay, compared to those sizes, would you say this is a big candle? Okay, what about this one? Okay, would you say this is a big candle break? Okay, the last one, no, it's too small. Okay, so you're comparing like basically just the average and you're seeing that, okay, if I have a line, if I draw my line right here for support and resistance, we have resistance here, we have support here. There's a big candle that broke through this line. That's called a big candle break. I mean, uh, this is a word I'm just making up. I don't know if that's a real word or not, but I'm just saying big candle break. So we'll use this at Urban Forex. Okay. Um, so same thing if, if we take this further back and if we say, okay, this is an area of resistance, you know, the market hasn't been able to cross this. And then suddenly, big candle break. This area has been crossed. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, Dennis says, can we say that in 90% of the time we see a big candle break, it keeps going on the same direction for the moment? Uh, no, no, that's not the case because uh, take a look at CAD. Uh, well, t I guess you asked the question correctly. 90% of the time, yes. Usually, if you have a big candle break, you go in that direction. Okay. Now, take a look at what do we have at CAD. We have here we have here an exhaustion, okay? We have an exhaustion forming right now. Obviously, this is short. It goes together with pound going north, right? If pound is going north, take a look at this beautiful designs, trend continuation pattern to go north, right? So we're headed north on pound, nothing to worry there. CAD correlating says short, okay, makes sense also. But where does it say short from? Here. What is this area here? Let's find out. Let's find out to see, is this short really making sense? Let's find out. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit and see this area. Let me start to draw my line. Okay, we have a big candle break here, right? We have a level. If I draw my line on the body, I have a big candle break. 
resistance and support. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to cover this tail maybe uh, to here. Let's say somewhere around here, this little zone. Okay. Big candle breaks. Again, big candle breaks here. And then we have this now zone. Okay. It's almost like the market, you know, if, if we refine it a little bit, it's almost like the market could not go beyond this. Right? Does everyone see what I'm saying? Now, if pound is, in terms of correlation, if pound is telling me long from its support resistance area and it's saying uh, properly long, and CAD now with this piece of information that we just got because of pound and this exhaustion candle and it's saying short, does it make sense to have a short in this range? Okay, yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a short here. Now, next big piece of information. Okay, let's say I take a short here. Let me look at the bottom line only. I'm going to keep this bottom line here. Now, this line has acted as resistance. It's been broken from here. Uh, I sold CAD. It's been broken here. It's been broken here. It's been broken here. So now, if this level is strong, just for the sake of an example, if this level is strong, what does the market have to do to go through this? There you go. Big candle again is possibly needed to go through this. So does it make sense that you'll possibly have a big candle? Probably yes, because you have this nice exhaustion Pound is going long uh, with the nice, beautiful designs of going long. No indications of turning around. CAD is setting up for its short. It looks like it's getting ready for its a, a big short. Okay, you're pretty much now predicting into the market of what it could do. Okay, uh, Pedro, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar with anti-correlation these days. Any justifications for it? Okay, so let's take a look at Aussie dollar. Yeah. They are in anti-correlation because now that pound wants to go long, Swiss franc, uh, I mean CAD wants to go short. What about Aussie dollar? According to standard correlation, it's supposed to go short, but it's not following standard correlation. It's anti-correlation lately. Okay. So if it's an anti-correlation mode, we're going to have to watch this and see Will it actually respond to this area as pound did? Or will it break through below it? Then pound goes long and Aussie dollar goes short. It becomes your hedge. New Zealand dollar, same issue. A big candle just broke. Why? What happened here? You have a piece of information to do your research. Okay, let's clean it up. Let's find out. Okay, big candle break here. Look at these big tails come out from this area. If I put my line on these big tails, well, there are some areas here maybe we can refine too. So now we're covering these tails plus these big tail that's coming out. Let's take a look. What is this? Scroll back. Ah, well, what do you know? Look how many times this area has held. Okay, wonderful. Can I refine it? Yes, let's go up to the bodies. Let's refine it. Okay, now we have this whole area. Okay. Uh, well, we covered this area also in 8th of January. Beautiful. Okay, and then we had some uh, breaks here, but not a one single big candle yet. Okay, and then we have a zone now that we, we must create because now we have this little whipsaw that we see. So let's take a look at how we can create a zone. Now, could this area possibly be a zone, the bottom of this, where there's tails coming out also? Let's see. Okay, it covers all of this area, plus this tail.
Okay, looks like the bottom is going to be here. We're going to cover this body, which then covers some of these areas, plus that big tail that we saw. It, it comes into it completely. There you go. The complete tail comes into it. So, okay, we have this little range now where it's currently at. Okay, and we want to see if this level breaks. Okay, Aussie dollar still there, New Zealand dollar still there. We don't know. No signs yet. Okay, because it's a not a correlating pair lately. Okay, Lorenzo, US dollar cat is a good setup for your pro trading strategy, right? Um, uh, I don't know. Let, let me check. It's it has everything for a sell. Let's put in our pivots. Get an idea for pro trading strategy. Okay, yes, it's perfect for a sell on a pro trading strategy. And take a look at this line that we drawed. This 10052 line. Let me remove this line. Is this not your guaranteed profit area? Now, I don't even have my pivots up on my screen, yet we drew this line right here. Because at the end of the day, even your pivot points is nothing but support and resistance. They're nothing but walls. Okay? Your pivots will range. Like the pivots on my screen is based on FX Pro servers. Pivots on your screen is based on your servers. At the end of the day, you need to focus on, can I draw my uh, support and resistance um, based on what I see? Okay, and you work your way from there. So you have this area that, you're, that we're working with right now. And so yeah, based on pro trading strategy, this is a ideal sell with this area being, with five pips away being your uh, guaranteed zone. But we want, we're expecting this zone to be even broken. Now, according to the pro trading strategy, okay, our guaranteed zone is until here. Now, assume that we know already for a fact that this zone is going to be broken. What's the next spot? The next one is down here, right? Okay. So, let's put our zones here. Let's keep an eye on this area. Let's see what is what is it going to do here. First, we want to see if, if we can break through big candle from here. And then we keep an eye on this area for the ideal potential exit. Okay. Pound is still long. Cat is still short. Swiss franc. No retrace yet. We wait. Maybe this little teeny exhaustion candle will have some strength to push. Okay. Aussie dollar. Pushing, pushing short. We wait. No, no rush, no hurry, no problem. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what else do we have? We have gold entering the zone. Japanese yen. Now let me remove all this. Euro yen. The reason why I'm not looking at euro yen. Uh, anemium power um, it's because uh, if you take a look in the past we have no data it's at the all-time high so we need to use correlating pairs to understand where it's gonna stop yeah so the, the information goes way too far back and uh, it's it's when you go that too far that far back it's difficult to draw everything you won't be able to get some precision but it's okay you can use it as a reference with everything else okay um, is it a template you got on your charts there to clean your charts oh it's it's just a simple th I've just saved a template it just uh, it's just simple it just there's a dividing between day to day and uh, green and red uh, Candles, that's it. If you guys want this template, I can put it up onto Urban Forex for you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's see. 
Uh, do you consider time of the day, example, the last hour early candle as just before your launch day? Um, wait, Mark, can you ask that question again? I didn't uh, quite understand. Uh, Kilimanjaro, I'll, I'll have it ready for you, no worries. Uh, Eric, do you trade diagonal support resistance lines? Also, yes, I do. But uh, that's level two of support and resistance. Okay, there's a whole different ball game with uh, you know trend lines, and that's some. It's an advanced technique which I will teach you guys in due time. Okay, so we've gone through some basics for trend lines here at Urban Forex. Very, very basics on what trend lines actually are, but there are some advanced methods that uh, I can probably share with you guys in the near future. On Aussie dollar, if it breaks down, where is the next zone? Well, you draw it. Come up with an idea where you see. Okay, if it breaks through, where would it possibly halt? Think. What are we looking for? What are these lines? What is this? Is there another one of these down here? Find it. You know, you can ask me any question as much as you want. I can answer it for you. Doesn't do you any good. It only does you good is if you do this on your own, you practice this. I can give you as much information as you want. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, often there is take profit going on to uh, 1100 to 1200 AM in Euro. You get a big candle retracement. No, there's no such thing as uh, uh, something based on time. No, nothing nothing time related, don't worry. Uh, what's your prediction thoughts for Euro USD the next coming days, Naveen? Um, I, I don't do prediction into days. I don't, uh, I, I'm more intraday guy. I can tell you what's going to happen throughout the entire day, but not going into the next day. My expertise is intraday. Um, let's see here. Okay, so let's take a look. Where do we stand? Okay, pound is still okay. CAD, okay, still looking good. Will US dollar Japanese yen fall this year ever? I'm guessing you have a long or you have a short running. Okay, you need to cut your losses short. Okay, is it good to short now on Aussie dollar? Let's take a look at Aussie dollar. Okay, if this is the ideal point to take a trade and you're assuming that it's going to short because of anti-correlation, then yes. This would be an ideal spot to trade. Okay, so let's, let's, let's uh, take this um, method into consideration. I'm going to short here, okay? I shorted my Aussie dollar right here, assuming that this area is the trading area that we need to be in, and it is going to short here. Okay, based on my analysis, on my um, uh, educated guess, this is what I assume. So I'm going to go ahead and sell. Okay, I'm doing this for a sake of an example. Um, guys, how about holding your questions till he's finished? We'll get much more. Yes, Mark, thank you. Okay, is it mandatory to use correlation? Yes, yes, very important. All right, uh, so moving on. Euro yen, nothing, gold, possible short coming up, and US dollar Japanese yen. Let's take a look at US dollar Japanese yen. What do we have? Currently, we have this, this little area here, but nothing from the past also at the highest for for now so we can't really use much information right now from a lot of these pairs uh, US dollar Japanese yen euro yen they're at like all-time highs uh, does gold count for the contest and other pairs you can use any pairs as you want see my objective is to teach you guys how to use support and res support and resistance okay and you can use any pairs you want, any currencies you want, and work your way from there. Obviously, you have to consider spread into um, your accounting, but that's okay. 
if you're if you're training support resistance correctly, even the spread should not matter. There is no restriction on pairs or precious metals. Okay, there goes your CAD. Does this strategy work with stocks? Um, I've never tested it actually, but uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say yes. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, is there any career for future in Forex? I'm asking this as I'm young. Um, yes, there is. Wealth management uh, usually covers uh, Forex in banks and stuff like that. But again, trading at a bank is nothing but stressful and quite boring, in fact. So, um, and salaries are, you know, 50,000 at most that I've seen. 50,000 US dollars um, a year. So, uh, of course, it ranges up and down, uh, 20,000 up and down, depending on what place, what bank, and stuff like that. So, um, you're on uh, Aussie. Our zone is direct on 50 and 61.8% fib levels. Okay. Oh, you mean of this complete direct, uh, move? Yep, 50% level is right here, this line. Okay. Um, oh, New Zealand dollar. Okay, sorry, let's take a look at New Zealand dollar. Okay, for this entire move, I'm guessing it's a 50 and a 61.8. Okay. All right, so where do we stand? Markets are still slow. Let's uh, take a look at Euro. Do we have any information on Euro from the past? Also, Euro, all-time high. Pound doing good, CAD doing good, Aussie dollar awaiting for reaction. New Zealand dollar still holding. Okay, will Aussie dollar not bounce up? from the zone first before blasting uh, through it that is that is the question that we have right now okay here we go let's 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 do a little bit uh, uh, practice on this okay from basically whatever you guys have learned on urban forex right you see Aussie dollar right now what can you tell me about this what information do we know so far Okay, trend is short, yes. We have that information. Okay, hitting resistance is testing the zone, okay. Uh, support, yes. Okay, very good. We need a big candle to possibly break this area. Okay, Meyer, very good. If it breaks through and then it retraces to the zone, we have a nice sell going. What else? Now, a couple things to um, understand is, take a look at these. Now, in actually, in this last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight candles that have been coming up, how many? How big are the tails on top of the candles? What about on the bottom of the candles? OK, 
Okay, we're getting much longer ones, right, on the bottom of the tails. What is it telling you that we're we're getting resistance? You know, the market's trying to push. What is it trying to push? It, it the it, there's a small tail here, then it gets bigger, then it gets even bigger, then it crashes, but it still has a tail. Now it's struggling, and we're at a zone. If I were to give you put a gun onto your head. Which direction would you go? Okay. You analyze all these situations. You try to understand what the market is trying to tell you. Okay. Hi there. Wait. Uh, wait for it to cross uh, the line first okay also that Eric which pair should I have in my portfolio to trade every day because I trade too many pairs I have too many pairs to trade it doesn't the pairs do not make a difference you can have as many pairs as you want it's fine just need to be on top of them that's all so Markets is trying to push up but gets rejected all the time. Yes, yes, that's also true. Could it be that it needs to push up from a certain area? That's something to think about. Okay, it means strong sell. Okay, let's take a look at New Zealand dollar, a correlating pair that's working with Aussie dollar. We know that these two pairs are working together right so let's take a look at this now in in uh, New Zealand dollar uh, let me see if I can even refine it okay there we go I'm gonna refine it to this area I'm gonna take this tail I'm gonna refine it to this area here's why we're gonna use the recent data only okay it goes it covers everything now we're going to go further back and no 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 this is wrong sorry still needs to come all the way down okay market is trying to push up but guess what kept profit doesn't mean strong sell but isn't it that things don't keep falling in fx okay this is a zone i've drawn for gold yesterday if you guys have seen my post on urban forex this is an area that I responded yesterday saying that this area might possibly go short or have a reaction now it did go short it struggled along but then it also broke through broke through long retraced back to this line and then continued long and now it suddenly crashed again okay so everything is now on a slow mode right now we're watching everything carefully Okay, CAD touched its guaranteed zone, turned around. Still waiting for CAD to continue go, go, continue going down short because pound is still on its way north. Even with all of these trades, we're still in profit overall. Okay, uh, Kilimanjaro, to answer your question, you need to have uh, many things work together. Okay, you need to have many things work together, which means more than one pair, uh, more than one piece of information. Like, you can't just use candlesticks, you cannot just use support and resistance. You need to have at least um, one or two more pieces of information to complement. Okay. Now, when we went long on pound, we saw the retracement happening. What is a couple of information that we knew? The previous candle was strongly long with little tail on top, indicating the market still has strength to go north. Next candle that opened up retraced all the way till down here, and if we assume it's going to go long, it retraces till up here, creating a strong trend continuation pattern for a long, an upside down exhaustion which indicates a further north into the third candle. So 
all the way from the first candle, you can predict all the way what's going to happen into the third candle, more or less. Okay. Now the markets are going long. Aussie dollar is still hovering. New Zealand dollar is possibly getting ready to sell. Okay. CAD, possibly we're going to retest this area of this yellow line and see if we can actually break through. Okay, anti-correlation euro USD and pound. Uh, let's take a look. I think pound and euro USD should be the same. Ah, right now, yes, anti-correlation. Pound is headed long. Aussie dollars, uh, euro USD is headed short. Okay. How did you hedge? Basically, the hedge is just uh, looking. What well, you're looking at support resistance. If if you're going long on Euro USD and you're also going long on US dollar Swiss franc, that's a hedge. There's nothing special that you do extra. It's just, it's just a direction that you take. One becomes a hedge. No. That break evens the profit if you're hedging on the same same currency pair. Okay, take care, Kong. Um, yes, it's also getting time uh, for us to close this webinar. It's 8.31 p.m. my time, 7.30 a.m. New York City time. Um, we're going to go through any last minute questions. Uh, we're going to spend five minutes for question and answers and then we're gonna go ahead and close the webinar. I hope everybody's understanding what I said so far. If everyone can give me a yes, that you've understood um, how we do this, why it's important to draw your lines. Okay, good, good. All right. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at some questions. Is it necessary to hedge? Yes, always necessary if, if it requires it. Um, Pedro, um, what about Aussie dollar? Aussie dollar, it's currently still a hedge. It's not moving. Okay, if it retraces from here, we have your long. You have a bounce of a long. Perfect area to go long then. Okay, but we still have to wait and see because we don't know yet. It's been anti-correlation. Okay, can we look at resistance on pound? Uh, Asim, yes. Let's take a look at resistance on pound. Now, if it's going long now, where is your next zone similar to this above the current market? We need to know where it's going to go, right? So, if I were to draw my support and resistance, which is here, we have resistance, we have support, and then big candle break, big candle break, big candle break, big candle break. Is this area strong? Oh, it's a lot of questions. Okay, pretty strong, right? Okay, let's go further back to see if there's any more information and looks like no. Okay, so we have this area here. You have your potential target coming up. Okay, so since you have this area of 5791, let's take a look at uh, our pivots also to get an idea. Well, what do you know? We're in between these two pivot lines. Does it make sense now? Okay, your pivot points are the same thing as support and resistance. Only difference is with support and resistance, you're the boss. You can see what's going to actually happen. Okay, and then if you plot your pivot points, it just draws them on the same area, that's all. Yep, and that closes the gap right there. In between these two, the ideal spot is right here, which is probably where a tail might come out of. Okay, uh, Mayur, I tried to subscribe to the internship. My country doesn't support it. Actually, the internship, the basic program is free. Um, 
we're gonna we're gonna rechange everything for that. The basic program is free. Uh, it's the intermediate program that's uh, paid. In fact, we're gonna be releasing the schedule uh, in 24 hours on on uh, the different types of topics that are gonna be released, and we're gonna start releasing um, the inter uh, intermediate levels also, not just the basic levels. So we're getting uh, getting the ball started for that as well. Okay, the internship is amazing. Now, I'm, I'm glad you guys like it, and uh, we're, we're, we're trying to refine it and even make it better. We want to make sure that the moment you guys sit to practice it, you guys get up an expert in it, you know, when you when you get up from your computer. So, all right, um, recommend trust is a good broker, uh, good broker, good, blah, 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 good broker, please. Um, Child, I use uh, FX Pro, um, they're pretty decent now. I didn't like them before, but uh, ever since they've become really big, their act has straightened out a little bit, and they're pretty pretty decent now. So, URL, if you can please use this. Oh, sorry, let me get you the URL. We have a URL. If you can use our URL, child, we get a referral commission. Um, let me get you the URL. One moment, please. Okay, again, try to join um, this contest, guys, to see if you guys have what it takes. Practice it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You don't win the competition. Who cares? But the objective is to learn. Okay? Um, yes, this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to get it up on YouTube so you guys can see these examples also. Okay, and we'll put it up on uh, the support resistance page as well. Um, SS emailed Samira about free Forex watchers. If we subscribe for the internship, got no reply. SS, uh, go ahead and drop me a message on Urban Forex. I'll help you out. Marcus, you make it look so simple. <laughs> it, it is simple. It is simple. Just practice it. You'll get it. Don't worry. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for uh, attending. We're gonna have to close the webinar now. Um, the current trades that are running, they're running a total of 10 pips, uh, 17 pips from pound by itself. Hope this was very interesting and uh, you guys got to learn from it. Please, please do practice. If you guys wanna practice it, we have a group for it where we all trade this on a daily basis. We, we put our posting and examples and tutorials, you know, so, Use the group called Support and Resistance. Everything is there.